Just don't do it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I literally am just saying, yeah, don't do it. Oh, is this my promotion to gold? Gold promotion. I thought this was my promotion. This was a promotion right here. Maybe I drop back down. Why is this a promotion? Okay. We're almost there. We're almost at where I want to want to be. Um, but oh, I was silver in this game. I ordered things wrong. Did I order things wrong? Was that not? I got promoted somehow. Okay, this was the gold promotion. Never mind. Weird. I'm so sorry, guys. I genu I genuinely thought that. Th okay. I remember this game though too. This was a, a great game. This this was honestly one of my be better games that I played. I think, if I remember right. Let me see. I remember I, I actually really liked this game. I got promoted. Or did I lose this one too? Now I'm confused. Maybe I mislabeled it, but I'm still a silver as of this game. So perhaps this is the game where I got promoted to gold. Um, but I could I could have sworn I got promoted from uh, from that Zerg game. Hmm. I guess maybe I really did label it wrong. Or at least... Oh, you know what it was? I remember what it was. I moved up from one of the Silver Leagues to a higher Silver League. Then this game took me to gold. I'm so sorry. Uh, I just realized that now. Um, whoops. Uh, genuine mistake. Um, this is where I actually... This game brought me two gold. But then the other one didn't. So build order wise, I'm doing engineering bay first again. That's right. The same... It's the same, it's the build. It's the build that I like, because that's my style. Upgrades first. Weird, yes, but it's what happens. You'll notice though, I'm actually playing pretty well. Like I'm keeping up with my SUVs uh, fairly fairly well. The other guy is just making barracks. You know, he's already floating enough for command center. Maybe he's making a command center plans. I don't know, maybe that's the goal. But I'm, I'm adding on my barracks. You know, things are going well. We're making stuff. And yeah, this is going, and it goes smooth. Yeah, like we're making three barracks. We're uh, the other guy's making a butt ton of barracks, by the way. SCV ready. And we'll we'll probably we might take a look at his side too, as well. Kind of a speedier version. You know how we fast forwarded. And I throw a reactor on. I don't have any attacking units right now, for the record. Like I'm just making buildings. This is another thing I thought of is like, okay, if I'm playing Terran, I don't complete. They don't they don't really push until like at least five minutes, so I should be fine to just not even make units. I think I was thinking, not until I get the reactor up. And I make a tech lab. And everything's pretty well situated. You know, we're, we're making good progress. I got upgrades coming. And I was thinking I'll just go for a regular timing push like I've always done. And I'm just making marines. You've built a add-on is done. Doesn't that look fancy? Add on a second tech lab. Cause I like some marauders. Yeah, and I'm just I'm just getting ready to, to try and push. And you'll see I'm keeping my money low. I'm really focused on keeping my money low. Add-on complete. And I add on extra SCVs. Make sure everything's okay. Make sure the minerals are, are being done correctly. Oh yeah, and I was saving up my gas also for. Um, Making that a piece of me, boy. Ooh, shield, the shield SCB upgrade. Ready. And I think I threw some marines down just just cause, just so that way we have a chance to build up our minerals a bit. Get a cycle of marines out anyway. Why not, right? Research is done. Let's hope you click the right. And then one. I started queuing up stuff to get ready to push. Gangway, and I was through. like, yeah, okay, this is actually working out pretty well. Then I was supply blocked. Ah, damn. Uh, and I accidentally made a bunker. And I remember thinking, oh my god, I just made a bunker, but I didn't bother canceling it. I don't know why I didn't cancel it, that's so silly. I think I kind of felt like, well, I put it there, maybe it'll be in, come in handy sometime. Never did. But, oh well, that's a waste of 100, uh, minerals. That, that happens. Like, there you go. I just let the bunker finish. 
it's weird, but it happens. And as you can see, I'm making a lot of stuff. Like, I'm, I'm actually producing really well. I played really well this game because I was able to Your units keep up. are augmented. I, I kept up my hotkeys, and I was up making sure we always had stuff producing. And I, I made sure to I wait around, and I, I make sure I get my my armor upgrade. Your research to get that is too. done. Don't forget the rest of them. I wanted to get my armor upgrade as well, and, and everything was going really smooth. I just kept making units. Armed and ready. Let's have a blast. I don't know, I kind of like the line of barracks. It's, it's kind of cool. To get heavy. How they're all lined up and stuff. Base is under attack. Oh yeah, I got attacked. You want a piece of me, boy? I just shut it down like instantly. Oh, it's on. And then I think at this point I was like, well, I, I may as well attack if he's uh, if the other guy's attacking. And so there we go. We we sent him out. I just a move because I was like, well, he just made an attack, and he, that was probably all his stuff. So I figured I might as well go for it. And then behind the attack, just in case, I figured I'd make an expansion. So I was like, yeah, may as well. You know, I'm trying to trying to do a good job with keeping up my production of units, but ultimately, you know, what are you gonna do? Oh, did I remember to clump them again? I forgot if I chose to clump them. I probably should have been clumping them. Oh, yeah, and there was no expansion here. I thought that was weird. Oh, and I saw the tank. And I was like, crap, I need to rush forward and kill that tank. And that was a huge deal for me, being able to kill the tank. And I, I push up on the uh, on the stuff, and I end up like focusing down the Marines. I remember thinking, yeah, so this is over. I just focused on the barracks. So I was like, well, I'll, I'll just take out his unit producing structures. Upgrade complete. Then he had a tank, and I was like, well, maybe I can get that marine. And I didn't. It sucked. And I just backed up because I was like, well, he has siege mode because siege tanks come with siege mode. So I was like, I'll just maybe I'll just wait outside the base. Or no, maybe I just went for it. Oh, because I wanted to kill the barracks, right? Nice. Yeah, I, I remember now. I wanted to kill the barracks. And I was like, okay, that's what's up. So then I just uh, just started massing up troops outside of his base, I think. Or maybe I changed the rally point back. Yeah, I guess I changed the rally point back. And then I went ahead and expanded. I was like, all right, cool. Expansion time. Uh, again, I haven't made any buildings since then. Mineral field depleted. But I needed the expansion anyway, so it's okay. And he had tanks, so I was like, well, now I need tanks. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to get into his base. And I just kept making units slowly. It's go time. I think at some point I decided to just. You'd think I would add on more production structures with this much stuff. Oh, yeah, and I noticed this. He tried to take an expansion, but of course I'm going to shut this down. I'm going to back up more. Oh yeah, I rushed forward to kill the tank again. Because I knew if he doesn't have a tank, he's not going to push me. You've built a or at least he probably wouldn't center. push me, you know. But yeah, I denied the expansion. And that was good. And I went ahead and stayed in the middle. And I was thinking, oh, so he doesn't even have an ex expansion up yet. So I'll just go ahead and, and sit around and I can make more stuff. I made another factory too. Oh, and these bunkers were really helpful uh, when I queued them up. The add -on is finished, because I definitely so was no excuse not to build I definitely something. was thinking, okay, I wanted macro now, so I'm gonna go ahead and just like build some bunkers, hunker down, you know, I'll be ready to go. And of course, I'm throwing my mules down on other on other bases. And we got the bunkers going down. Leaving plenty of room, of course, for, you know, my men. And obviously we're good. we got siege tanks being made. And it's good. It's good stuff. Because Terran versus Terran can be quite a long 
engagement. I was getting ready for the long haul. I was like, okay, we gotta, we gotta get ready to go. So I was like, making sure all my units were queued up. Everything was making, like everything was making stuff. Put some marauders in the bunkers. Because of the extended range, I want to make sure. I want to make sure they have the range to shoot down the ramp. In case anyone showed up. And I put the siege tank in a good spot. You know, because I was definitely thinking about how will I defend my expansion, and I thought about it, and I was like, well, I only have two expansions right now, and unless he drops me, I should be good. Went ahead and threw down a refinery because I needed more gas to make tanks. I kept looking at that, and I decided to go make a. With all my, I was floating so much, and I was like, well, I may as well make another expansion. I think that's a good train of logic to go for. That's something I learned is that if you have a lot of money, just just make an expansion if you, if you don't know what to do. Like if all your production structures are constantly producing out of minerals, and you know I need gas, obviously I'm, I'm gonna do that. And he tried to attack me, and I just I just killed him. Like, it wasn't even fair. I don't know why I lifted that. I think it was an accident. Oh, I hit the wrong hotkey. I was trying to call down a mule, but I didn't. I might sneeze in a second, guys, so I apologize. I'm trying not to, though. Oh, yeah, and then I decided to come out here and uh, attack. So I was like, well, I need to win the game sometime, so... Just figured I'd, I'd kill him, and I walk backwards slightly to make it seem like I'm, I'm going back to my base. You know, because you can still see some stuff after you die. And, you know, there wasn't much I, I had to do, so. I grabbed a bunch of SUVs, and I brought them to my third base. And then I think I moved out for an attack, I think. Is that when I did the attack? Yeah, at this point, I just went ahead and moved out. Oh, yeah, I saw the red on the mini-map. And I realized, crap, uh, I'm getting it's attacked. Hard. It's ruining workplace morale. And I brought everyone over. Although, in hindsight, I realized that only the Marines could do the damage. But guess what? Marines are also great at just killing battle cruisers. So I killed both battle cruisers because he didn't want to jump away. Well, not that he didn't want to, but like, yeah, I sieged up and I shut that down quickly. My little turtles. I don't know what he was thinking, like bringing in a big wave of marines when he knows I have tanks. I, I don't know. He just he just felt like it. I think from this point, I decided I have so much money, I'm just going to throw turrets down. I don't even think he knew I had a third. Of minerals at that base. And I trained up a bunch of SCVs, threw down my mules, and I pushed out. I was like, okay, just got to make sure we're defended against air, and and then we'll, we'll go. This better be good. I think I also might have decided that the expansion wasn't really worth defending anymore because of, um, well... There's not many, as many minerals to mine from there. And I threw, on, threw down some supply depots, because I was like, okay, we got to be ready. Added on another missile turret. My army's slow moving anyways. And I was smart. I decided to walk all the way around uh, to go to hit his third, because I assumed at this point he would have a third base, because I have a third base that's up and running. So I was like, okay, let's go take out his third base. And uh, we loop around and such. And this is the part that made me feel really smart. I really like this moment. So we come up the ramp. Uh, we didn't immediately hit resistance. And I went to where about, I saw his third base being built. And I start sieging up my tanks preemptively. Just in case he tries to defend it. I move over, I see the army, then I back up. And then at this point I was like, okay, that's how we win. I just shut down his third base, and I'm, I was ready to move in. 
So I, I, I just moved up, and I was like, all right, let's go take that expansion. And I, again, I, I walked around the edge, because I wanted to siege up on his base. Maybe I didn't even bother. That was a bit of a mistake. I think I blew up some of my own men there. But it happens. I should have brought my tanks in with me. Then I focused on killing the Banshee. It closed, and I was like, well, damn, that sucks. But we, we did a lot. Like, we, we cleared out the base. And I wanted to use my Siege Tanks to stop him from going anywhere, but then it's kind of like, okay, you're going to lose the Siege Tanks, though, if you don't. That geyser is fresh. So I think I decided I just wanted to try and end it, so I, I attacked. We could use some help here, because Siege Tanks do crush. Like, they can just straight up win your game. Like, even on Siege, you know? I mean, yeah, you had a Banshee, and, and that sucked. But Cloak runs out eventually. And you can see, I, I was, like, queuing up lots of troops. As well. We could use some help here. And then there you go. That's how we, uh... How we got promoted to gold. With some incredible play, to be honest. Uh, and the fact that I took a third. I think I'm getting better at taking expansions. And I think that's something I really wanted to highlight here is that if you deny their expansion and you can get yours up, you're just going to win. I mean, you can make more stuff.